Hey guys, I have a um, bath and meat in here. Uh, and I just want to show you what I include in the bath and meat in, just in case anybody's kind of starting off or, you know, isn't sure what they should include. Um, so first of all, I just got her out of the dryer, so I'm just going to brush her through real quick. It's very shiny and pretty. So, all right. Now, they don't really want much trimmed. They like me to kind of neaten up between the eyes um, and maybe trim up around the sanitary area, but that's about it. They like her long. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to grab my Utsumi, my little half moon because she's thoroughly brushed out. Don't use that on a dog that's not thoroughly brushed out because you don't want to bend your teeth on your expensive combs. Um, so last time I put her in yellow, I'm thinking I'm actually going to use this little pink and purple. I think that's going to be cute. Okay. And this is by Bartle Blows. All right. So what I'm going to do I use these little rubber bands. You can get them at Sally's. They're clear. Okay. See, this little tiny rubber band. I'm going to take the hair. Okay, good yawn. Okay. And I'm going to brush it up. You can go from these, the outside corners of her eyes. And I'm not the expert of putting bows in, okay? I don't do show grooming. This is just self-taught pet grooming, okay? So, don't clock me on my bows, okay? <laughs> um, so I'm going to take all that. And I'm going to band it. Wrap it around like three to four times. And I'm keeping it far away from her head. You do not want to get her skin in here. It'll cut off the circulation and it will cause that area to die. Okay? So be careful when you're putting in bows. It can be very serious. Okay? So there's her little tut. Can you see it? Oh, nice. Very beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to take our bow. She didn't quite have a fountain. That's why I called it a tut. Because that's about what it is. Okay. And a lot of dogs, I can just get away with just popping the bow right over that rubber band. This kind of hair, I do tend to have to wrap the bows. So I'm gonna wrap it about three times, just to make sure it's in there, because y'all know if you groom, dorky hair is just so fine and wants to fall right, everything wants to fall out of it. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so there's the bow. I'm doing that first because he really wants between her eyes trimmed. So I wanted to get all of that hair out of my way. So that way when I went to trim the eyes, I could see what I needed to trim because I want everything to be able to go up into that fountain. Okay. So I'm going to take my little Utsumi, try not to grab the hair like I just did. Okay. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take my little, good yawn. <laughs> I'm going to take my little tiny Gebe. Gator shears. He likes her trim down the nose a little bit, so I'm going to do that. Normally, I would not trim down the nose. That's just my preference. I like to kind of grow it out a little bit. I mean, I'll trim like a little bit, but I don't like that shaved down the nose look. That's just a preference. Nothing against, like, if you like that look, you know. It's just kind of like style, you know what I mean? Like, just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just not what I do. Okay, so I'm going to make her turn back around towards me. Hello. And I'm going to just take right by her little eyes one more time. Just calm it up. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. All right. Just going to brush her out look at her, see if anything around her face needs trimmed at all. Looking good. She always is very tangle free and everything, so. Alright. So next, I'm going to 
go ahead and I'm going to shape her sanitary area. Always check with these five in ones. These are awesome, but it's also really easy to accidentally use the wrong blade length on these five in ones, so just be aware. Um, and that's any five in one clipper, not just while well, just giving you my little two cents on it, just because I have definitely grabbed a 40 and used it on a sanitary area, and you know, it's really easy to accidentally mess that up, so just be careful. Okay. I'm going to flip her to here. Get shave for the booty. Okay. And then I'm going to turn her a little more. And I'm going to lift her little leg up. I like to lift these guys' legs up above the knee because a lot of these little teenies have those knees that pop. I don't want to pop anything out of place. So that is what I do. Okay, got that. So now I'm gonna take her, have her face me again, and I'm gonna hold her up like this, and just shave her belly and make sure there's nothing I missed. Okay, she doesn't grow a lot of hair on her sanitary, so that was pretty easy. Now, next, I'm gonna take her, I'll face her towards you guys. Sorry, honey, bit up and close and personal with the fans, huh? All right, now I've been given these fresh shears a trial run. I'm going to start off with their little chunkers just because the chunkers are going to get the hair shorter faster. So I'm just going to use that to kind of get the shape I want. Normally I would just use one or the other, but since I'm trying them, I'm just trying both on different coat textures to see if I like them. Um, but yeah, if I... Like I said, right now I'm just kind of giving them a test run, but if I end up liking them, just you know I'll let you guys know all the details, so no worries, okay? Because they are affordable, so, um, yeah, okay. So, trim that up a little bit, and take that me, calm it up, okay? Now I'm going to take the thinners. These are what I use to like fine tune and really blend. These are also by Fresh Pet. Or Fresh Fresh Grooming, I guess is what they're called. Okay. I really like how these cut for the price point. They're 100 bucks, by the way. Yeah, these are nice, so. Um, yeah, I'll be telling you guys more about them very soon, I'm sure. I'm just gonna try them with a couple more breeds and just see. Okay, so, sorry, don't, don't use your Utsumi comb to clear your table off. That was not a good move on my part. I should not have done that. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I just pick up the closest comb to me and I'll try to like use this one across the table. I'm like, Ugh, don't do that. Okay, so next. I'm gonna take my little, this is the small uh, hound panic, and I like it for these itty bitties. So I'm gonna put her little leggies in. Okay. Y'all should play a drinking game that every time I say, okay, you have to drink. I'm just kidding though, because you'd probably die by the end. <laughs> I like go back and watch my videos. I'm like, good God, how often do you say okay? And the answer is pretty much every time I'm done doing something, I seem to say okay. Okay. <laughs> I did it again. I can't even help myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Actually, don't don't play a drinking game where you have to drink every time I say okay because I really think you might die. Even in a like 10 minute video like this is about to be. Well, I guess it'll be a little longer, maybe 15. So I'm putting her little leggies in here. All right. Haha, -ha, see I said a different word besides okay. Bet y'all weren't expecting that. All right, and up she goes. I'm not gonna put her too high. I need to still be able to see what I'm doing. First I'm gonna take my clip, my little nail clippers. I have like some cat ones somewhere. I think I got these at like 
learn something. These little tinies. Set you up so you can see a little better. There we go. Okay. She's got rear dew claws. So I'm going to clip those. I prefer clipping those kind of nails over dremeling because um, sometimes on these guys that have a little bit more hair, it's easy to catch their hair in the dremel. I have been wanting to try one of those diamond dremels though, because I've heard that um, they are, like that they don't catch the hair and stuff. Here you go. Hand. These little guys are so hard when they wiggle because you really can't fight them. You have to let them win. And I always go a little bit long, especially with a client like this that comes so often. All right, now I'm gonna try to drum all the other nails. If I can't dremel them, which I can't remember if she normally lets me dremel them or not, but if I can't, then I'll clip them. But we're going to try dremeling them. Just hold all the hair out of the way. Be careful, it's really easy to cook these little bitties. I can put my arm underneath her so she can hold on. I want her to feel secure. I'm trying to do this in a way I can get it without dremeling my own finger. Yawning can be an, a sign of anxiety, which I'd be willing to bet is probably what she's telling me. But we're also on this time. So I'm just gonna let her know it's okay. Then lastly, I'm going to shape her paw pads. So I'm going to make sure my thing is set on a 10, my Bravira. Just neaten her little paw pads up a little bit. Give her a little more traction when she's walking around because we know she probably didn't have a lot with how tiny. So I'm going to take my small Chris Christensen. And I'm just gonna neaten her up a little bit more. I'm gonna take this, uh, I think it's a seven inch 52 blender. Being aware that I did fall, I don't wanna nick it. Neaten this up a little bit. Thinners are really nice for this uh, Yorkie, really thin hair. It just gives you a much nicer finish. It's not so blunt. I'm gonna get her down.
We're gonna put her on the table without a noose right now, just to so I can see where we are at and if there's anything else that needs to be done. I'm just gonna calm her through, make sure we got no tangles. That's really it. She looks in good shape. If they wanted more trimmed, I would trim the belly. I'd trim the legs a little shorter. Let me angle it back down. But I would um, typically, I would do the legs a little bit shorter. I'd probably trim up around the chest and trim under here. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. Let's see. So we're gonna do this little rosy rosette, I think is what they're called. And you can unclip it right here, you see? You push it, it opens, and then you slide that out. And then click that on. And that is it. All right. Say so thank you for watching. So we'll see you in the next one. Oh my goodness, so pretty. All right, bye you guys.